This video is sponsored by Cricut. A brand new Cricut machine launched and I got my hands on the new Cricut Joy Extra. So let's have a little look inside. The new machine is great if you are short on space as the machine is only 12 inches wide and only weighs six pounds. I have the new Cricut Joy starter bundle, which comes with some bits to get yourself started. If you are getting a machine as a present for someone or for yourself, I recommend getting a bundle where possible so that you have some bits inside and you can get creating straight away. Inside the box, you get a printable waterproof sticker set, some printable iron-on for light fabrics, as well as a light grip cutting mat. You also get some smart iron-on, smart vinyl, and some transfer tape so that you can create straight away. So what's the difference between the Cricut Joy and the Joy Extra? I hear you ask. So the new Cricut Joy has a larger cutting width and print then cut sensors that allow for full color sticker making. You can also make projects up to A4 in width and four foot in length. And just like the Joy, it can cut over 50 materials. You can also draw, write and fill. And you can also use all of your Joy markers on the new Joy Extra. Okay, let's set this bad boy up. I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration and just show you how easy it is to set up your machine. Maybe if you've picked one up and you're like, is this gonna be hard and full of technology? It's okay. I'm gonna be setting it up via the Cricut app on my phone, but you can also use your desktop too. Inside the box with your machine, you'll get this envelope and inside the envelope is like an easy setup, a bit of paper to follow instructions. And you also get some pieces of vinyl cause you're gonna do some test cuts on the machine just to make sure it's gotten okay before you get creating. So you can type in the web address, cricut.com forward slash setup. But if you have the app already on your phone, there is a button that says set up a new machine. So you can just follow the instructions there and then you're gonna select um, your Cricut Joy Extra machine. And then you're gonna follow the um, instructions that pop up on the phone. It's very kind of like step by step and easy to follow. Um, your machine connects to your phone and your desktop, your laptop via Bluetooth. So magic, so you don't have, the only cable you have is your power cable. So you don't have any cables um, going to the desktop. You don't have to plug anything into your phone. Works by the magic of Bluetooth. Once the test cut is done, you're ready to create. But just a little tip, if you wanna make some stickers, I would calibrate your machine now. So on the top left-hand corner in the app, I think there's a little hamburger symbol, those three little lines. If you click that, I think there's a setting to calibrate your machine there. And you can just follow the instructions to calibrate it. And I would do this first before you start making your stickers. And on that note, let's make some stickers. I have a printable waterproof sticker set and there's six sheets of this inside. So we can print stickers onto this material and then it comes with a vinyl sheet that you stick on top before cutting it. And this is what makes them waterproof. Okay, we are in design space and I have to contain my excitement. We are gonna make stickers. I don't know why I have never tried stickers before. I think I just found them a bit intimidating, but this is my first time to do stickers, so let's dive on in. On the homepage, if you click stickers, um, you will find like lots of projects, but I seen a thing here and I said cottage core stickers. Um, I've already bookmarked some of these, but how beautiful are these? Um, another thing you can do is, I've shared this before in a video, so see this image here that I like. These three dots, you can click it. There is view similar images, but there's also view image sets. So if it's part of like a set, so Cottage Core Elements Printables, 12 images, click on it and then you can see what other ones are in it. I'm gonna bookmark this. Look how beautiful the images are. And what I love about the stickers is you get all that lovely detail. Actually, I'm gonna bookmark that one as well. So if you are like just doing vinyl, you're obviously not gonna get all that, like, you know, watercolor picture painted. Um, you're gonna just get like an outline. But with making stickers, we get to keep all of that lovely detail. So I'm like another level of creativity unlocked. You can also, we are now in images, so I'm going to go back to images. And for example, I'm just going to type in garden because I want some garden images. Um, hit search, but then on the left hand side, if you go to operation type, 
there is print then cut and print then cut I think these are all the ones that are basically for stickers so you can see there's an outline around the picture so that's where it's going to be cut for a sticker um, so there is loads of images I've literally just typed in garden but you can type in anything if you wanted like a butterfly um, hedgehog anything so I am just going to click bookmarked um, because these are the ones that I have saved I think I want to do them all um I really like bloom where you are planted love the robin love the apron um I've kind of gone for some autumnal vibes you know what I think I'm going to make all of these <laughs> um I, there's the little hedgehog as well so I'm going to select that one let's just go to town and make all of these stickers so I am just gonna add them all to my canvas because I will find a home for these um I'm thinking of putting these on my um I have like a sketchbook from my art class so I'm gonna stick it to the front of that so we're gonna add it all to the canvas and then we can resize these okay so they have come quite big on my canvas so I'm just gonna zoom back out make my canvas a bit bigger so you can make these as big or as little as you want. I'm going to make them on the smaller side because they are for my journal. If you are a scrapbooker or you love doing bullet journals, I just think we've got a new level of creativity unlocked. Now you can also make stickers on your Cricut Maker and your Cricut Explorer. So if you do have the bigger machines, you can make stickers. If you are new to Cricut and you just want a machine for possibly like cutting vinyl, cutting card, the Cricut Joy Extra is this, it's the same as the Cricut Joy, as in it can cut over 50 materials. So you can do card, you can do your vinyls, you can do all that stuff. But with the Cricut Joy Extra, you can do the stickers two and you can also fit um a4 size width um materials into the machine and four foot in the length as well look how cute that hedgehog is okay so i've roughly done them well i hope i have enough um material but i'm absolutely loving this sticker set i think i'll make this a little bit bigger now you'll notice i am on my laptop because it was just easier to um set up but i do need to change it to cricut joy extra and op operation type here is print then cut so if you are doing like a name um i think you have to flatten it and then select operation type to print then cut so we're gonna hit make it so as you can see it, it's, it has sorted out into mats and i have four mats I'm gonna hit continue on this one. Okay, so this is where I need to be careful because it's my first time to do this. So I'm gonna hit send to printer. Let's see what happens. Okay, it has my printer here and I'm gonna go grab the material and stick it into the printer. A little tip that I've seen online was when you are sending it to your printer, so turn off the bleed and click use system dialogue and you're going to get a pop-up window from your own printer. So whatever inkjet printer that you're using. And just a little tip, if you are stuck on this screen and you're like, why is it taking so long? The pop-up window is behind, well it was for it was for mine. So it just took a few seconds for my pop-up window to come up. Now, for some reason, my printer was stuck on black and white settings and I think it's a MacBook problem, but I've managed touch wood to fix it. I just restarted my computer. So if it happens to you, you could try that. Now everyone had said to set the quality to the best and then paper type, I'm gonna go with I'm just gonna let it auto select, but some people were saying to do, you know, gloss. It depends on the paper that you're sticking in. There is a slight sheen to the paper. So I could do glossy, but I'm gonna just let it do auto select. And then I have it. I'm just gonna check it down to A4. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna hit print. <laughs> Fingers crossed it prints in color for me this time. So for anybody who's brand new to Cricut, if you do want to make some stickers, you will have to have an inkjet printer and then you'll be able to print it off onto the material and then your machine will cut around it. So just for anybody who's new, your Cricut machine is not a printer, um, it's a cutting machine. Well, it can do lots of magic things, but you will, you will need an inkjet printer. So before I'm gonna place this onto the blue, the light blue cutting mat that came with the set and pop it into my Cricut, I'm gonna stick on the clear piece of vinyl and this is gonna give it that lovely shiny sticker look, but it's also gonna make it waterproof. Also, when you see the stickers getting cut, you'll see that there's a white um, outline around them. You can also get that sticker set in transparent if you don't want to have the white border. And for anyone wondering, can I make stickers on any of the other Cricut machines? Yes, you can. So you can make stickers on the Explore machines and the Maker. So these are the bigger machines in the Cricut range. If you have a Joy, which is the smaller blue one, this cannot make stickers, but this new Joy Extra can make lots of stickers. Once everything is placed onto the blue light grip mat, you're then gonna follow the instructions that's on either your desktop or on the app on your phone. So you're just gonna hit go and it's gonna start cutting around those stickers. You're gonna see a light popping on and this is the print and cut sensor, trying to figure out the black lines and I don't know what magic it works on, but the sensor centers itself um, so that it can perfectly cut around your stickers. So the new Cricut Joy Extra is not just a sticker machine. Oh no, while that is fun to do, you can also do your favorite projects. And some of the popular projects that we all love to make on our Cricuts is cutting vinyl. So whether it's iron-on transfer vinyl that you wanna stick on t-shirts or clothing or tote bags, you can cut this off your Cricut Joy Extra. And if you wanna do vinyl projects or marker projects, if you wanna make labels, so you can do all of those same fun projects with the added extra now of making stickers. So I found this older project buried in my archives and I just thought I'd share it just as a little simple example. So you could absolutely cut this on your machine, iron it on, quick little project and a great way to upcycle some old fabric too. Let's do a quick project and play with the printable iron-on. Inside this packet, you get five of the printable iron-on sheets and you also get a sheet of paper. It's kind of like butcher paper that you stick over the top for when you're ironing the design onto the fabric. Okay, back in design space, I also wanted to share. So for this option, you can always upload images. And I know I never really do it in my Cricut videos, but if you are, like maybe you design your own drawings, if you, I know a lot of people do it kind of on their iPads, if you have your own graphics or images, you can upload them. So in the bottom left hand corner, scroll down, there is the upload function because I did see on Cricut's Instagram page, on the Cricut UK and Ireland page, a girl made a cushion and she printed off a picture of her dog. And I was like, that's really clever. Um, so for today, I'm just going to experiment with the material. So I am going to, I just found this again in Design Space. You can search in images and then I am going to make it. So we're gonna print it onto the vinyl that is going to be ironed on to the machine. So I'm gonna follow the instructions, gonna hit make it and then send it to the printer. So just like when we made stickers the last time, we are gonna send the design to our printer. It's gonna print off. Then we are gonna place it onto the blue light grip mat. We're gonna pop it into the machine and it's gonna cut around the design and then we're gonna stick it onto the material. 
So just a little tip for when you're handling this material. It is on the slightly thinner side. So if you're a little bit heavy handed like me when it comes to peeling off vinyls, um, you just have to be a little bit more gentle. You'll feel the material when you touch it that it's a bit light. So I trimmed off the bottom excess and keep that later for another project. And then I just weeded off the excess. And when I lift it off to stick it onto the material, you have to do this ever so gently. Um, so I got my weeding tool just to lift off the edge and then I gently peeled it off. I warmed up the material with my mini iron. I do actually have an easy press, so your easy press will be perfect for this. But because it was just a small design, I just whipped out my mini iron. And I warmed the fabric first, placed it on top of the material. I went and got that butcher paper, popped it on top, and then I applied heat to the design, took it away, and I had this perfectly printed design. It looks like something you would like, like buy in the shop. So do you know if you buy a t-shirt in the shop and there is like a design on the front, it feels like that, like the quality is really good. Now, one thing I will say is, I haven't had a chance to wash the bag to test and see how long it lasts or what the what it's going to be like after washing it. So I'll do some homework and I'll report back in my next Cricut video. So I'll wash this tote bag, I'll throw it into the washing machine um, on a wash and I'll see how, how it holds up. I hope you got some ideas. Now, a bit more info on the machine itself. So the machine is gonna be available from the 7th of September. And also the two sticker packets that I have. So there's the printable sticker set, and then the other one, which was the one for printing to iron on. Those two sets as well will also be available on the 7th of September. So if you see them on the website at the moment and they're not in stock, they will be available from the 7th. Anytime I do a Cricut video, um, a common kind of question people ask is which machine should I get? Um, because you've got the lower price pointed entry level machines which can do an awful lot and then you have the Explore and then you have the Maker. Um, I have the, my larger machine is the Maker so it's not the new Maker, the Maker 3, it's the one from a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it and you can cut fabric on that. So you cannot cut fabric on any other machine, you might be able to cut a bit of felt on the Explore, don't quote me, but if you are looking for something that can cut fabric and wood, once you have the fabric blade and the wood blade, you can do that on the Maker. But for everything else, and most people, when I chat to them, we just wanna make some vinyl. <laughs> You just wanna do some iron on projects or uh, take off some vinyl. Um, but don't forget that you can do cards. Um, I did some cards a couple of videos back and also um, there's a special card mat. There's so many accessories and stuff. Your creativity just has no bounds because there is a tool to assist you. Um, also paper crafts. Um, I do have a Cricut video where I tried making some paper flowers for the first time. So the things are endless. <laughs> the materials you can put inside. There's also foil projects and I have just unlocked the sticker making setting of my creativity. I was also thinking, wouldn't it be nice? I need to test it, but the iron, printable iron on, I wonder could you use that on furniture? Hear me out, wood. So I have a wood slice left over from, I had a video, I think it was last week before where I was doing wood projects and I had a wood slice left over from a wedding, from a prop and I wonder could I experiment with that? Because I've seen people use an iron on, on like non-fabric things. So like they've used it on, um, I seen a girl putting it on like a book thing, like obviously test it first, but I wonder could I iron it onto the wood and seal it with varnish? See, the ideas, the cogs are turning. 
But anyway, depending on where you are located in the world, you will have different stockists for your Cricut machine. And you can also go to just the Cricut website um, and find your local shop. So whatever region um, you can shop from and then you can learn a bit more about the machine as well. And just to say again, you can still make stickers on the Explore and the Maker. So if you've watched this video and you already have a machine in Explore or a Maker, you can make those projects. And as always, share your tips in the comments section if you have, you know, done the stickers or you have any cricket hacks or tips that you can share in the community, always welcome. And if you're new, say hello in the comments section. We can have the chat. If you have any questions about the machine, I'm not an expert, but I know enough. <laughs> and if I don't know anything, I know people who know things. So I can ask them for you. So if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I'll see if I can help you. Anyway, go forth, make your tea and get creating. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.